Taylor Swift bill is signed into Minnesota law, boosting protections for online ticket buyers. ASIC. IATED Press. People buying tickets online for concerts, sporting events and other live events in Minnesota will be e-guaranteed more transparency and protection under a so-called Taylor Swift bill signed into law 2. S. Day by Gov. Tim Walls. The law, prompted by the frustration a legislator felt at not being able to buy tickets to Swift's 2. 023 concert in Minneapolis, will require ticket sellers to disclose all fees up front and prohibit R. E. sellers from selling more than one copy of a ticket, among other measures. Below are your comments. Way back in the Stone Ages of music, when we went to concerts to enjoy the likes of Fleetwood Mac, T. He Eagles, Santana, Kenny Loggins, the Doobie Brothers, Linda Ronstadt, etc. We went to the venue a ND bought tickets at the door, first come first get. No reserved or pre-purchased tickets. And the A. I remember when scalping tickets was illegal, when renting out your house like a hotel was illegal. When picking up people without a taxi license was illegal, when running a delivery service without a license was illegal. Then criminals invented apps online and overnight all the criminal activity. Fans have been complaining about this for years, but finally it happens to someone in the legislature. E and they finally do something. I love how StubHub is in favor of this law. If we got rid of StubHub and similar reselling sites, we could get to see the concerts we want we though. Oot the ridiculous reseller markups and not have to worry about fake tickets. If these sites didn't make huge campaign contributions to elected official. I stopped going to concerts when ticket prices began to exceed the cost of a kidney transplant. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.